Welcome me everybody, this is your boy Geronimo Toro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Wee's GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go in some of the description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video now this video is all about on how to install the single player Garrett's reloaded mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder so like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below now this mod does require Lemon UI, so download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now make sure that you do download version 1.5.2. Do not download the latest version. Download version 1.5.2. Next, this is optional, but download enable all interiors and I will leave this inside my description below remember this is optional once you have completed that then go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location if you do not have one create a scripts folder make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase Open up your scripts folder and now let's begin. Open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN2 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Next, open up your SHVDN3 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your Enable All Interiors Extract folder. Open up this folder and then open up your Scripts folder and select all of the files and folder except for the text files and drag it inside your Scripts folder. Then exit out of your Extract folder. Now lastly, open up your Single Player Garage Extract folder. Go inside here. Go inside scripts and now select all the files and folders except for the text files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Wait for a few seconds and now select replace. Then that's all you gotta do and now exit out of your extract folder. Now once you have finished with that, go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now before we do go in the game, Okay, go and keep scrolling down. Then go to your skittlev.net.ini file down over there. Double click and make sure that you do change your reload key to insert. There you go. Then now save your file. Now right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder. Right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are in the game. So as you can see my game has froze. If your game did freeze, okay, when you enter the game, don't worry, okay, just wait for a few seconds. And now you'll be back in the game, okay? So once you're in the game, okay, all you gotta do before you do anything, okay, is go and open up your phone, go to your contacts, then go right down to the bottom and go to enable all interiors now remember enable all interiors is optional but i always do this okay 
So go to change and interior, go right down to the bottom to misc options, and now change your load MP mix to true. Okay, and then change enable blips to true. And now I always do this, but it's optional. And then random color to true. Now go to refresh interior, wait for a few seconds. And then now exit out of your menu, go on your keyboard and press insert. Your game will freeze for only a few seconds, don't worry. And now your game is back to normal. Now, as you can see, when you go to your pause menu, then go to your map, then now you can see a couple of things open over here because you have installed enabled interiors. Now the garage mod that you are looking at is the one that has this icon over here. This is the garage mod, there's about 10 of them I think, don't know. So let's go to our garage, okay, and test this mod out. And now we are at the garage, okay, so I have already bought the garage, okay, the garage is over here. And now you can press E to save your vehicle, but I don't have one. And now you can press Q to enter, okay. So let's press Q. Now let's walk in. Now I do have a vehicle in here because I did um, put one in here. Now, yes, you can come over here, come over here. Okay, now press E. Now you can sell a vehicle if you want to, which I can sell the vehicle that I have over there. And now to sell and remove, okay. Or I can just add a vehicle inside there, okay. Let's go for uh, muscle, okay. Muscle, and let's go for um, nightmare, okay. And now when you go turn around, you'll see that the vehicle has changed. So we've got the nightmare over there, okay. And yeah, it's pretty cool. And what you can do, okay, is that you can fill up the garage, okay. Uh, but I'm not gonna fill it up, okay. Now, when you go in the vehicle, press F. Now you can press E to use the vehicle or Q to save. Okay, you can press E to use it or whatever, but I'm gonna quit it and I'll press, there you go. Save it and now, you can press Q to enter the garage and now you'll see your vehicle right there. So it's right there and you saved it right there. So that is how you guys install the mod. That is how you use the mod and that's how you sell and even save your uh, vehicle. So I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. And we're back again so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. But like always, okay, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. So with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, and I'm out.